Hello and welcome to a new series we're going to be doing on Planet Coaster. So we're starting with a fully empty park in challenge mode, just so that we have money to deal with, but it also gives us the freedom to do whatever we want. I hope this series will be exciting. Uh, this one, a community poll that I did. So anyway, let's get into it and begin. So we're going to want to start out with the whole sort of entry sequence, which we have this uh, park entrance here. We can charge people if we want to. But anyway, let's get into creating our paths. We'll see how far we can get into this series. I have done some play some playthroughs on my own and it doesn't run too great on my computer when we get deep into it. But we'll see what happens as we go along. So let's start out with just an eight meter wide path. And this will sort of be our main straight. So now I don't want the entire park to be flat like this. Um, as we go along and once we get more money, I'd like to sort of terraform mountains and valleys, sort of like what's over here, because that'll help us shape the rides that we place and the sort of feel that our park has. As you can see off in the distance, we chose an alpine environment. So I'd love to get mountains, maybe like a huge mountain in the center with a waterfall and just like tons of trees everywhere. But we'll see how that goes. Our first sort of worry though is making money. So Let's just get something down quick and then we can start to worry about scenery and sort of all the other things. So if we go into our rides, we only have a few rides. We'll pick something with decent stats and everything. It'll either be uh, this insanity ride or this wild blue ride. I think we'll go with this one because it's a little bit cheaper. Now we can rotate this. Get that lined up with our path. And we'll get that down. Now we get to place the entrance and the exit. So we'll place the entrance there and the exit on the other side. Actually, let's put it, let's put it over here. So now we get to create the queue to the ride. Let's go with this. Actually, let's, let's keep it pretty standard for the queue paths. So we want to sort of snake this around so it creates a line that people will sort of stay in as they come in here because we want to keep them long but not terribly long so that they don't get annoyed but we can also keep interest. Let's see if I can get this to snap in well. Yeah, let's do that. And now we just need to connect up the exit path. The exit path can be pretty straightforward. Hopefully we can get this. There we go. And 
And now we have our first ride. We can open this. There's not really anything we can customize with it. We can change the ticket price though. We might lower it at the start just so that we can get people in here. I believe we can also charge for the entrance if we wanted to. But we will save that for when we start getting a lot of people coming in. So I'm gonna quickly decorate this area here because decorations do help with the ratings. It'll also help people stay in the line longer and just sort of increase everything in the park. So I'm gonna add a few simple decorations so that we don't lose all of our money but we'll still get a bonus from it. All right, so we threw in some trees and some rocks into this area. And while we did that, we can see we already got quite a few people coming to get in line. We can see the, the prestige of this ride up here. And this is affected by uh, the ride's reputation the scenery around it, um, the experience on the ride, which I don't think we can really control much of that on this one. And then down here we can see sort of the lifespan of it. So the prestige of this ride will go down as it gets older, but then once it reaches a certain point it will sort of become a, a classic ride. Sort of like those old vintage rides you find at old amusement parks. They sort of get an appeal just because they're old. And that's what this means here. And that gives us even more prestige than most of these other categories. So it'll bring it back up to basically what it is now. So that's what we're sort of dealing with here. It's a good start. We have a good amount of people in here. So I think now we need to provide some services. So we need to place some stalls down. Um, so we see here all these shops and facilities. And we'll probably want to start pretty basic and do some food and drink stalls. So we'll get those down real quick and see what that looks like. Okay, so I placed down these two buildings, so we got food, and we have a drink stall. So those will provide sort of the basics. Um, this is sort of the scenery that I want to go with. Since we are in the like Alpine theme, I sort of want to keep it like old style buildings. I guess this is technically from like the fairy tale pack. But I want to keep it like in this style. So yeah. We've set up a good base. And now I think it's time to hire some people. Because we are going to need some janitors. We already have a bunch of trash stacking up here. We should add some... Uh, some trash cans and other scenery. We'll need a mechanic for the rides. And I don't think we need to get a security guard yet. We are very small. So I don't think we'll really run into many issues with that. And so lastly, I think we should just add some benches, some lights to the uh, to the park. So I think we're going to go with these Western rustic benches. These fit the sort of vibe we're going for pretty well. So we'll just plop these around. We'll have one right here. We'll sort of match it on the other side for now, at least down this like main walk. And some here. There's that. 
And then bins. I think again we'll go with the Western Rustic. And we'll try to place these sort of around everything that'll generate trash. So we'll put some close to the food and drink stalls. We'll have two here at the exit. And then I think we should have two sort of where everyone walks into the park. I don't know why it's being weird about snapping. Let's move this bench over a bit. And then see if we can get this in here. There we go. That's about as close as it's going to get. There's that. I don't think we need any picnic benches yet. We can sort of create an area for those at another time. And now let's see if we can get lights in anywhere. So we'll want to find a nice lamp post. I don't think we really have that many that would fit the look we're going for. Some of these are nice, but a lot of them are wall lanterns. Anyway, we'll go with these iron lamp posts. I think they'll they'll look good. Oh, let's line these up. Put two here. We'll do some here. As well as just to make this symmetrical. We'll do that. One's here. And then another set right at the end of this path. And then we'll have a few coming down the exit path here. And here's our park. This is what we got so far. So this is the park that we have. It's a small start, but I think it sets us up pretty well for the future. And I'm excited to get into this. I think the scenery, what we have already, looks very nice. It might go pretty slow with all the detailing that we're doing, but it'll definitely be worth it in the end. So that's pretty much going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.